so I'm going to show you today how to install a switch sensor on the single pole. Uh, specifically, if your single pole has four cables, uh, they usually have three cables, but if they have four cables, how uh, you're going to work it out. And then uh, also, if you have, you happen to have a three-way switch sensor instead of a single pole switch sensor, how to use it on the single pole. Okay, first and foremost, always come to your breaker, turn off the corresponding breaker. Turn it off first before doing anything. Okay, I got a two-way switch uh, sensor. And uh, if you see uh, here on that single pole, I got four wires. So four wires, one ground and two connected together and then one over here. What it means is that I have one of them that is feeding my bathroom. That's the way they made it, probably because they don't want to run too much wire. In this case, all, all you have to do, this one, okay, this is not a three-way switch. This one is simply a power that is being connected in order to serve the bathroom. So we won't use this one, okay? This is in a single pole, but this one they use, those two, okay, on this here, those two, okay, the green and the bare wire, both of them <clears throat> will be connected to the ground wire that is on this side here that has the green, the green screw. Okay. Okay, so as I was saying, those two wires, okay, there's two one, the one that is the bare here on the sensor. And this green one will be connected to this bell wire coming from the wall. Okay, this one coming from the wall. So the this black here from the sensor will be connected to the one on the top here. Actually, it doesn't really matter which one you connect, but for the sake of uh, aesthetic, I will just do that way. So this black here will be connected to the black on the top here. And then this one black here Okay, the remaining one will be connected along with those one here that comes both together. Okay. So to disconnect the one that is in the quick connect, okay, you want to use a flat screwdriver. Okay, a flat one. You just push that in, twist a little bit. And then once it's in, now you can easily pull the wire. Okay, now the wire is pulled out and that's how you disconnect it. I'm going to tape both of them just to tell me that those two are the one feeding together. So I'm going to tape them just for myself to know it. Okay, I'm going to tape both of them. Certainly, it would be better. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disconnect the ground wire. And what I'm going to do, so I tape those two, which are sharing power. So one comes, one uh, comes to give power and the other one goes back to the point of a jumper, goes back to the bathroom. So I put them together aside. So I'm going to now connect first my ground wire. Okay, I'm going to use here on the sensor, this bare wire, which one, this one and the green one together with the ground wire and I will put the nut on them. Pull a little bit to see okay if it comes out or not. Here you see here it doesn't come out but the sleeves kind of like a flocking inside but that's the sleeve but the wire itself is all well, if I pinch the sleeve and I pull, it's well in. So you want to make sure that it's secured. Okay, so next thing is we're going to use one black coming from here. And I'm going to use for the purpose, I'm going to use the one on the top. Okay, and I will connect to those two black. Okay, the one that was initially in the bottom here. That was one was here and one was on the back. So I'm gonna connect those two. All 
Okay. Now, next thing, I want to disconnect the remaining wire on the switch. Okay, we have only one. And this one, I'm going to connect on the black one. For my case, I just chose the middle one. Doesn't matter which one you choose, but here I choose the middle one, just for aesthetics. So I'm going to disconnect it. Again, to disconnect it, you want to put, okay, your screw, flat screwdriver, you put it inside the hole, you push it, and you kind of twist it. Okay, and then once it gets in, you can easily now, you can see here easily, you can pull it. Okay, it comes out easily. So we have all wire connected. Now we have one wire left. We won't use the blue one, okay? We won't use the blue one. So the blue one, what we want to do is to make sure that we and put a cap on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put simply the cap on the blue one. Okay, I want to actually cut down a little bit. Okay, and now put a cap. Okay, so I shortened the tip with the blue one, and now I'm gonna put a cap in. It doesn't come out, and this is how all is wired. So the blue is not used. We have the green one. So in my case, because I have one wire that is serving as a jumper to my bathroom, all that came together that were connected to the back of the switch, okay, when they came, they were connected to the back here, okay, to the bottom here. So I took both of them and I connected to one black wire and then another black wire to the one remaining. Okay, now we're ready. Unlocked. There you go. Now, my bathroom, now I'll regain power. Okay, there you go. And then in my laundry room, I can also have power in. Okay, I need to push this one to bring the power in in here. There you go. I got power now in my laundry. So while I have power, I will double check again in my bathroom. I got light, the fan, and on. And if I turn off over here with the with that push button, there you go. I'm off here and I have still power in the bathroom. Now we want to push everything back inside. Okay, we're back. Now we have power on, power in. So we're gonna now set up these things uh, and I will show you how. Okay, when you look at this paper, they say if you want to time out for one minute, you need to have your flasher, okay, come up twice. Five minutes, it has to come up three times and so forth. So what it means is that when you push this one down until it flashes, one, two, you release it, your timeout will be for one minute. What it means is that when it has no sensor, when it doesn't sense anything, then one minute after he turns off. Now, uh, if you want it to be for, let's say, 30 minutes, you need to hold it until it flashes five times. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and you release. You activated your timer to be every 30 minutes after there is no occupancy in the room. So I want mine to be just one, uh, one minute, so I'm gonna do twice.
one, two, and I activated for one minute. So now the next thing here, it says, if you want to have what they call sensor mode for auto on or auto off, or if you want to have it manual on, meaning that uh, you come in, you have to push the, the trigger first for it to come on, or, uh, and then it goes off automatically, or if you want to have it auto on on the daylight sensing. So what you do is that this little button here, that's actually, that's a button. What you see here is actually, a, there is a button behind it. So when you push it, you can feel is a button right here. So what happens is that you push this one, okay, until you see the light flashing one time. When it's one time, it's auto on, auto off. When it's twice, it is manual pushing like this, okay, and then auto off. So I'm gonna do, I push it, and now release. He already flashed once. And then I have it on auto on, auto off. If you want it otherwise, you follow either three time or two time. Now, the last one is the motion sensor. Okay, the sensitivity of the motion sensor. What is required here, you have to hold both, to hold down and maintain it. Both this one, the, the big one, okay, and that little one. So, since I have one hand, let me see how I can do that. Okay. So, I'm going to put the back of my nail on this one here and hold here with my thumb. So, I hold both together. That's low. And sensitivity, I, I release it. Now, if I want to reset everything, I do it the same thing three times and it resets everything. That will be this and this together. That little button over here. Okay, and this together. So that's pretty much what that is. To mount now the, the plate, the cover, the wall plate. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that because sometimes it can be a little tricky. Okay, okay so here is the plate. Okay, it comes in this package right here okay so what you want to do is that the trick is that you want to pry off the top and the bottom not the side okay not the side else you will break it so if you have something like let's say a credit card or something you simply pry off from the top in my case I will simply use my fingers okay and then I put my fingers on the top over here. There you go. You prize off the top. Okay. And then same thing with the bottom. There you go. You prize off this way. Better to use a card. Okay. Type credit card in order to pry it out, specifically when it is on the wall. So we're going to now install what you. So what you what you want to do is simply tuck it, okay, and then simply screw down your plate. Okay, so once you screw down your plate, you simply put that in and push it. There you go. That's how is your wall plate. Again, I'm going to show you how now to pry off when it is on the wall. I'm going to even use this wall plate that was here prior, which is flat enough to pry off. So what you do, you put it on the top, okay, and then you kind of like a slowly, gently push it in. There you go. You pry off the top and same thing for the bottom. There you go. So you have it off. That's how you get it without breaking in. Uh, the hook. So I'm gonna put it back, pry right in. There you go. So we all set. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.